Hello everyone, welcome back to exercise 3 um, in Learn Python the hard way, numbers and math. So in this exercise we're going to take a look at different math operations which are possible with Python. And there are a number of different operations available, which are listed here. And as always you can find the link to this particular exercise down in the description below. So we can add, for example, different numbers using the plus sign. We can subtract them using the minus sign, divide by numbers using the slash sign, multiplying them by using the asterisk sign. Uh, and then it's also possible to use the percent sign here, the modular operator, uh, to actually take the remainder of two numbers that we are dividing. So for example, if we use 12 modulo 10, um, we would actually keep the remainder, which would be 2 in this case. And then we can also compare uh, different numbers. So for example, if a number is less than another number, if it's greater than, or if it's less than, or equal, or greater than, um, or equal. And those last two operations would then, of course, include uh, the number we are comparing. So 5 smaller or less than equal 5, for example, um, would be actually correct. Now, if we take a look at the exercises, uh, we can actually start out by creating a new Python file and in that file type out the different print commands here. So the first one starts out with a regular print command, which just prints out a string. I will now count my chickens. Then we actually print out the name hens here followed by an operation and that is actually the um, math operation that we are performing so 25 plus 30 divided by 6. So in the order of operation in which this is executed it's actually similar to math so in this case we would not start um, with a plus operation here on the left side but we would start by uh, dividing 30 here by 6 and then we would add up that number to 25. And if those different operations have actually the same order, then we start from left to right. After that, we have another statement. So here we print out rooster, followed by this expression. So 100 minus 25 multiplied by 3, modulo 4. And times as well as modulo would be executed before subtracting. Let's continue. Um, now I'll count the x. And we have a very long statement here. Um, we have addition and subtraction, the modulo operator, uh, and also division. And again, we would execute the modulo operator as well as division first, and then afterwards basically add up those numbers or subtract them. Now let's continue with some boolean, with some logical expressions. So the question is, or the print statement here rather is, is it true that 3 plus 2 is less than 5 minus 7? And to verify that, uh, we just print out this statement here using the less than operator. Now then we can uh, continue what is 3 plus 2. And here in this print statement we can actually include both the string, the question, and then also the number here, 3 plus 2. So that's a way to print out both statements in one line as opposed to actually dividing them into two separate print statements. And the same of course is possible here by using for example subtraction. So now let's print out um, is it greater? So is 5 greater than minus 2, which is obviously true, and we can see that once we execute the file. Is it greater or equal? So 5 greater than or equal minus 2, and it is also true, of course, because 5 is greater than or equal to minus 2. And then finally we have print is it less or equal? So is 5 less than or equal to uh, minus 2, which is obviously false. Now let's save the file and let's head over to our terminal here and we can just execute the file here by, py uh, by typing in python 3.6 followed by the name of the file and now we can see, see the result here. 
So for example, we see the different print statements printed out uh, in the case when we have a print statement that includes both a string as well as a mathematical operation. Um, we can see here that's just printed in the same row. And another example here is, of course, if we use uh, Boolean operations and we actually print out the question followed by a comma and then the Boolean operation, we can see that the Boolean statement is then printed out and we can see uh, whether such a statement equals or is true or whether it's false. So those are the different operations available to us when we actually use Python to do math and also logical operations. And finally, there are a number of different study drills. So of course, as we as we learned last week, we can add a comment in here if we wanted to. So we can uh, jump in here and add a comment on top using the hash sign, um, followed by a short summary of, for example, what the different um, print statements do. And that, of course, will not be displayed when we execute the file. So if we do that again, um, actually the same string is printed out again. This is just for us to basically annotate our code. What we can also do is that if we open the terminal again, we can type in Python followed by the number, so Python 3.6, and this is going to start our um, REPL, and here we can then enter the math operations directly. So we can, for example, type in three plus two. And then um, the statement will be printed out here. So that's a very handy way how we can do that directly from the terminal. All right, so that's it for, for this week. And I'll see you in for the next chapter in the next video.